Good morning, Box. I hope that you guys are having a lovely yeah. day. Oh, you want me to stop vlogging? Do you want me to wear the daisy bow? Oh, thank you, Rosalind. Does it look pretty? Thank you very much. I have to show you this because it melts my heart and I don't know how long she's going to stay like this. Do you feel like life is complete now that you are baby wearing while playing video games and watching Star Wars? Yes. I've come full the bonding has... I've come full circle. Yeah. The, so Ken is wearing the uh, Moby wrap. This is actually... You're looking for... Are you saying Minnie Mouse? Are you looking for your Minnie Mouse bow, Rosalind? Check your bedroom. It's weird that we can say that to her now. Yeah. So, um, you prefer the Moby wrap when they're squishy? I do. Yeah. <laughs> jig. What happened, babe? What? What happened? Roslyn had a potty accident, which is normally not an issue. However, she had a potty accident in her honor dress. And her honor dress has electronics strewn about the dress, like attached. And I thought it was like, surely there's a way to like Velcro these and remove these? No, it's not meant to be washed even. No, so as you can see, I'm slowly but surely removing everything, trying to keep the dress intact, like going through. And I need a screwdriver because like the little medallion in the front apparently also lit up or something, but it's got wires going to that too. So I was like, okay. So I don't know if Heidi's had a chance to inform you that our ignition cylinder, our ignition lock cylinder is a uh, Stuck. It's it's malfunction, and so oh, hey, it worked. Well, that's not usually what happens. There we go. Yeah. So that one time it works. It works like one out of ten times, and it it gets stuck. And so you put it in, and you kind of keep going. And we got really frustrated. And you can force it, but it's not good for the car. And so at some point in time, I discovered that if you kind of jiggle it and turn, it turns very easily, regardless if it's stuck or not. Like just like picking a lock, just. Just like that. I gotta get that fixed. At some point somebody got us a Olive Garden gift card. I don't know who it was because it came from the uh, sprinkle. Um, so Heidi knows who it was, but thank you very much. You're buying us lunch right now. And it's very appreciated today. Appreciated, appreci uh, it's very appreciated today. <laughs> um, so yeah, I uh, got the Olive Garden and now I'm gonna uh, head on home in a little bit here. The ignition lock cylinder thing. So yeah, it's, it's kind of breaking down. Um, I looked online, it's like $300 to fix it. And then I was like, that seems excessive. And so I looked further into it and I was like, this is a 10 minute job. Um, the part itself for a brand new one is like, maybe $50 if I get it from like the dealer <laughs> and if I get off eBay I can probably get it for $30 and it's like a 15 minute fix um, so I just need to go order the parts my concern at this point is I don't want two keys like one for the door and one for the like to start the car and so I'm looking into how I can rekey it with the pins because I know how to do rekeying for like house locks and stuff I know how to rekey like house locks but I don't I've seen how to do it but I can't find where to buy the pins to do the rekeying for the car ignition lock cylinder because it's a different shaped pin than like a house lock. Because for the house lock, you can just go to Home Depot and ask for a kit, and there's like a box full of all sorts of different pins, and you just find the ones that fit. But, um. Box, a few days ago, a certain item um, that Heidi has wanted for some time finally went on sale, and um, I got it, and it it's, came in. It can't, it's not what I ordered. I didn't order off Amazon. No, it's not what you ordered. I ordered something. Well, then it's not what I think it is. No, probably not. What's in the package? Let's see what's in the package here. Heidi insists on opening the package, so here you go. I have a feeling it's not going to be as exciting as what I've built up in my head. Yeah, probably. What do you think it is? Uh, well, I think it's not the wrap that I ordered. No, it's not. So I don't know what I've been waiting you're having for. A, you're having a hard time. You want me to? No, I got it. Okay. You got sure? it. You I sure? got it. Okay. Need help. Okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Mm, yeah, not at all what I thought it was. Woo! Oh, it's a waffle maker. I literally just posted a video yesterday <laughs> about how much I like the waffle makers at um, hotels. I've wanted this 
for like three pregnancies. There you go. We finally got finally one. Finally got one for this you. This is not what I thought was in this package. No, I didn't. Yeah, but it went on sale, and I was like, oh hey, this is a top. This is a uh, one that the internet says is a good one. So. What are you doing, love? I am wiping them off, making for its first initial heat up, to make sure there's no residual like gumminess or anything on there. Because you have read all the instructions. Yes, I have. So I wipe down with a damp cloth inside, and then we're gonna heat it up and then burn off any like ickiness and then we're having waffles tonight. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> it sounds like Shrek. In the morning. Tonight I'm making waffles. <laughs> That's Very Shrek. exciting. That's it is Shrek. That's oh, Shrek. It's from Shrek. Yeah, from Shrek yeah. yeah. I knew it was Donkey. I am heading over to my friend's house right now. She just had her baby four days ago. We were due like three days apart. Um, and she's having some breastfeeding issues, so she wanted me to come over and, and help her with that. So that's what I'm on my way to go do. Anyway, she ended up needing to supplement, and so we're going to work her a supplemental nursing system. But um, she wanted to supplement with breast milk as much as possible. So she's pumping, but I have a bunch because I've been pumping to donate. Um, I want to be a breast milk donor. And so I was looking into the Colorado milk bank and they have a new uh, donation site here in Tucson. So ever since Irene's been born, I've been pumping. Um, and I was like, well, I fit the donor recommendations. I don't know if you want my breast milk. And she's like, yeah, I'll take it. So I came over to drop that off and help her out a little bit. Hopefully we can work things out. Good morning, Box. Um, you guys were missing yesterday. We didn't vlog at all because the camera disappeared. I don't know what happened to you, but you showed up again. Um, I feel like I'm losing everything right now, and that's just because I'm not getting sleep. I am so tired. It's about that time that we're really starting to get really sleepy. Um, but as requested, you guys asked yesterday on the Heidi Kim TV channel for a baby wearing video which I had already filmed. So I just edited that together um, and that should have already been up. If it's not, I will have it up soon and I'll be sure to link it down below as soon as it is up. But Ken is back at work and my dad came to visit yesterday, but today's gonna be the first real day that it's just me and the girls. And so we'll see what we, how we end up doing. I took Ross in the library yesterday, which helped a lot, I think. But um, yeah, I think we just need to work on like, getting out and making sure that Roslyn has activities because if we stay cooped up she gets really bored and so do I so um today's Tuesday we don't have anything planned for Irene so I'm gonna see if there's any other like library activities or maybe I'll take her to the zoo or the park or something we are at the library Roslyn is trying to climb out of the car seat all by herself Irene is nursing you know, I think that's half the reason I didn't go places when Roslyn was a newborn, is I was nervous about nursing in public. But now I just do it all the time. So, um, and it helps that I can nurse in the carrier now, too. So we're going to play, right, baby girl? We're going to go play and get our wiggles out. Do you need some help? Do you need help? Okay. We missed the whole thing. We got here as the goodbye song started playing. I know. That's about the time we got here. Yeah. What have you got there? You dropped it? Let's pick out some books. Oh, look. Do you want to read the shape book? This is a really cool way to do a flannel graph. So it's on the table. Yes. We have common gear at a table because Rosin wants to read this book. It's called Hi. We were late and missed the whole thing, but Rosalind still got to play a little bit, and we are going to go to the grocery store because I haven't gone grocery shopping in two weeks, and we're out of basically everything. So um, fortunately, like we had, my sister filled our freezer full of food, and we had some other stuff that was left over for a while, but it is definitely time to go grocery shopping. So I'm gonna do my very first 
grocery trip with both the girls. Hopefully Roslyn will cooperate and be in the cart because I don't know what I'm going to do if she won't get into the cart, which sometimes she's kind of resistant to. Well, someone didn't want to get in the cart, so this is being trickier than I expected it to be. We'll see how it goes. But she will hold on to the cart, so that's good. We've got the ring snow going, so that is also good. As it turns out, filming while uh, pushing a grocery cart and chasing the toddler is difficult. So we did not film the rest of that grocery trip, but it went okay. Roslyn decided she wanted to get in the cart after we had already checked out, but whatever. Um, anyways, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of like first few days of just me and the girls. Um, I'm having a hard time staying up with the vlog because now Ken's back to work, so I will try to be a little bit better about it. Here's Miss Irene being all cozy. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you can hit the subscribe button so the next time I do a video, you'll know about it. And uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.